We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. Step and cut. 
In, up, step, and cut. In, up, step, and cut. Good. In, up, step, and cut. In, up, step, and cut. Make sure you get that tip out. Okay? Now, just turn face this way now. Get some brain, get some distance between you if you feel like you've gotten too close. So, have, have any of you gone fly fishing or you know, regular fishing? Or you know, go out this bit, right? So when you cut, you're actually doing a similar, similar concept. I'm not chopping down like this with my hands. Remember, that's where we get that bad range that I had before, okay? So I don't want to bring my hands down first and then let the tip go out. I want the tip to go out and then bring my hands down. Yes. Does that make sense? Okay, ready, same idea. In, up, step, and cut. In, up, step, and cut. And try to really reach. This is one of the hardest parts about this cut. And believe it or not, this is not a very common cut in Japanese sword fighting, but it is the most basic cut because it generates, or it, it allows us to learn how to use our shoulders properly. Right? Because if I just work on these, these really you know, simple cuts here, then I don't I don't learn mobility with my shoulders. Does that make sense? This position is called Joran Gokumai. Joran means high. Uh, guard, uh, Kanai means position. Okay? This is not an attack position. This is a defensive position. Okay? So what's happening really is Let's say, for instance, I cut down and I miss. He's now about to cut my hands off. Go ahead. And I go, whoop. Did you see that? I defended with this position and cut from that same position. It is a defensive position. It is not incredibly smart to attack somebody like this. Does that make sense? Now, eventually, as you get better at sword fighting, you can utilize that to that point. And make that an advantage. You can trick them by going to that position. Right? So I can trick him into thinking I'm going to cut here and then switch it and cut it on. There's lots of little things that you can do from that position. But you got to be good. Right? Okay, ready? In, up, step, and cut. 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 Good. I'm going to face this way now. All right, now we're going to need to do a quesa cut. Quesa literally means monk's rope. So when we think of this angle, the angle of my lapel here, that's the angle of the cut. I'm not making a big wide angle. That is a different cut. Okay? This cut is very narrow. It just comes down and is used for cutting the hands and the arms. Okay? Uh, Japanese, we really like to target the limbs, not necessarily the body. Okay, does that make sense? She's the one that Okay, so what's happening is we're going to do the same step, but I'm going to cut right to left. So when I go to this Jodan position, I'm going to rotate the sword clockwise. When I step, I'm going to do the same motion with my hand, but I'm going to finish the cut with my left hand off my left hip. So ready? Rotate. Tip out. Down to your left hip. Good. Try as hard as you can not to let the tip travel too far. Uh, we end up with a... Uh, some of us can develop a bad habit of our wrist breaking. And then trying to pull it back up if somebody hits the sword and out the direction, I'm going to let it go of my wrist. Right? We both, we both. Watch that helmet. Yeah. Then you're going to be here, rotate, cut out, and just drop your shoulders. Yeah. 
fluids as fluid as possible. Okay, now, real quick, one more thing. How do we, when we go back to holding the sword, there's a few things, okay? For cutting, it doesn't necessarily matter how far apart you hold your hands. I want to pick it. Okay, like if you're going to go in your backyard, and you just bought a new sword, you're very excited, and you're going to go cut up some water bottles. It doesn't necessarily matter how far apart your hands are. Okay? One of the best cutters in the world, you're going to be, you'll, you'll hear me talk about him a lot, is he knows. His name is Toshishiro Obuta. Uh, if you've ever watched the original Ninja Turtle movie, you will remember him as Katsu. Actually, yeah. Saw a guy. Yeah. He is an actual Bakugo champion in Japan. A samurai who is a phenomenal swordsman. He created a, a martial art called Shin Kenya. And uh, that's his really in a real sort of way. Uh, but he does a lot of Bakugo uh, cutting, right? And he holds the sword like this. So this is fine if you're just cutting. But when it comes to actual sword fighting, you need more leverage. So take your hands and spread them apart. Okay, ready? Stepping with this ace of cut from right to left. So your right foot is forward. Bring the sword up. Rotate to your right. Step, tip out, drop your shoulders. Good. In, up, rotate, cut, drop your shoulders. In, up, rotate, cut, step your shoulders. Good. In, up, rotate, cut. In, up, rotate, cut. Don't let your elbow come out. Yes. Straighten your back. Just bring it down here to your hip. Yes. Remember, what, what is the target? What are, what is, what are sword fighting, uh, Japanese sword fighters targeting? Your limbs. Your limbs. So you just stick it out. It's angry, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. In, up, rotate, cut. In, up, rotate, cut. In, up, rotate, cut. In, up, rotate, cut. Above your head. Above your head, yes. You want to go above our head, rotate, and then cut down. I'm not cutting this way. Remember, that's a different cut. Okay, turn around, face up. And okay, now we're going to do the other side. So our left foot's going to be forward. It's a general rule of thumb to cut away, if you're cutting downwards, to cut away from your front leg. Okay? Because if I'm cutting towards my front leg and she beats it that way, I run this risk. Okay? If I'm cutting upwards, which we'll do later, I want to cut towards that front leg. So it's the opposite. And it's not always 100% fat. It's not always going to happen that way. That's a good rule of thumb. Okay? Ready? Now your left foot's forward. You're going to come up. You're going to rotate it counterclockwise. You're going to step, cut down to your right hip. Good. Keep that left foot forward. There you go. Left, right, up. Ready? Right here. Yeah. Up, rotate, step, cut to your right hand. Right hand. There you go. Up, rotate, cut to the right hand. You alright? Yeah, it's like a nice little follow me to do it. Ah! But all you gotta do is grip with your pinky. The rest is the rest is the same. And watch your thumbs. Try not to put your thumb on the back of the blade. Your your palm actually wants to be on the back of the blade. If my thumb's on the back and I hit something that's hard, like armor, I'm probably going to let go. Or I'm going to jam my thumb. It might hurt my thumb. So I want the palm to be on the back. So if I hit something hard, I'm not going to be letting go. Okay? Uh, in, up, rotate, cut. 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 Not back, pull out. Yes. Like reach out here and then drop your shoulders. Yes. You're reaching the target, but you know what I mean? I'm not cutting here, I'm cutting here. Yeah. 
Okay, turn around, face that way. I want to do uh, Yaku Kesa. So this is the reverse Kesa cut. Coming upward. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the same right foot forward okay, as we were in the beginning. Okay? You're going to cut from your left side up to your right side. Okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate it to the other side, step and cut up this direction. So every time you step, you're just cutting across your body. Without killing the person next to you. <laughs> yes! We'll get to that. Okay, so right now, right foot, is, uh, right foot is forward. Bring the sword to your left side here. Cut up to your right. Step, cut. To the other side. Step, cut to the right. Step, cut to the left. Step, cut to the right. Step, cut to the left. Step, cut to the right. Step, cut to the left. I'm going to think of this back in the Stay there, stay there. Stay there, stay there. Go on, back. Go on, back. Right here. That's sweet. You want to be. I'm going to hold on to that sword. You're going to roll this around. Yes, then grab. Okay, face this way now. Same right here. We're going to walk this way, and then we're going to pair up and we're going to work with each other. Okay, so right foot forward. Pop from the left to the right. Step. Cut right to left. Step, cut right to left. Or left to right. Step, right to left. Step, left to right. Step, right to left. Step, left to right. Step, right to left. Step, right to left. Good. Okay. Find yourself a partner. Why don't you do a little work together? Come on up. Uh, speak away from that. Speak your little closer. There you go. Okay. Um, I don't want you to have foam versus the bamboo. Foam versus the light foam. Yeah, that's probably fine. Okay, we have one. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do first, all right, we're going to work on displacement. Uh, we're both going to practice the same cut, but one person is going to be the winner, one person is going to be the loser. I thought that's a We're going to go back and forth, my goodness. Okay, so the way this is going to work, all right, is she wants to be the winner. <laughs> All right, we're both going to be in this in this position here. We're both going to cut down, but she's going to cut and hit my sword out of the way and find my arm. Find it with the sword. Yes, just now. There you go. Okay, we're going to find the arm. Not hit the arm. Find the arm. Okay. So one more time. We're going to be in this position. We both cut down. She beats it out of the way. Finds my arm. Okay. One more time. Ready? Go! Woo! I no longer have an arm. Okay. So what I want you to do is maybe do that five times each person, then switch. Five times, switch. Five times. Keep going back and forth. I'll be walking around to make sure that you get this. It's a super simple. So you should take that long. Go ahead. Yeah. 
Come in here real quick. Oh, yeah. So, just to kind of end today, uh, I want you to remember a few things. Key pointers in the picture. Go on YouTube, you can see any video about it. A Japanese sword like this. Yeah, look somewhere else, okay? They don't want to use that. Not other swords. This part of the building. Not this part. Okay. I'm going to 